In physics terms, sound is a disturbance of the atoms in matter transmitted from its origin outward. This disturbance travels out in the form of a wave, and so therefore transmits energy. This transfer of energy is much more ordered than, say, the motion of heat energy, and in fact exhibits periodic motion in the form of a periodic wave. Take, for example, a string like you might find on a guitar. When we pluck that string, it starts moving back and forth. As it does, it transfers energy to the particles in the air, compressing and expanding in the areas around it. So as our string moves to the right, we get areas of high pressure called compressions to the right of the string. Behind it on the left side, lower pressure areas are created called rarefractions. As the string moves to the left, it creates a compression to the left and a rarefraction to the right. This motion continues and creates a series of compressions and expansions that move out from the string in the form of a sound wave. These waves travel through the air and if they come in contact with your eardrum, you perceive that energy as sound. Our perception of sound has to do with the properties of the wave that is being transmitted. Pitch refers to how high or low a sound sounds. Pitch is determined by the frequency of a wave. If the wave has a high frequency, the sound has a higher pitch. If the wave has a lower frequency, the sound has a lower pitch. The amplitude of the wave determines the loudness of the sound. High amplitude results in a higher volume, while a low amplitude gives a softer volume. Just like with any wave, the speed of the wave is equal to the wavelength multiplied by the frequency. In the case of sound, the speed varies greatly with the medium through which it is traveling. The less compressible the medium, the faster the speed of sound. So sound moving through a solid will travel at a higher velocity than the same sound traveling through the air. So when we refer to the medium, we are just talking about whatever it is the sound is traveling through. Something to keep in mind is, is that sound does require a medium. There has to be particles in that medium for the sound to actually be able to move. So if you're in a vacuum, there are no particles. If there are no particles, there is no sound transmission. The speed of sound also determines on the temperature of the medium. The higher the temperature, the faster the wave travels. The speed of sound at standard temperature and pressure is 331 meters per second. For most of our purposes, we are talking about sound in air at room temperature and this value is found to be 343 meters per second. If we need to modify the speed of sound for a change in temperature, we use the value at standard temperature and pressure and the square root of the ratio of the temperature to the standard temperature. One important thing to keep in mind is that the speed of sound does not depend on the frequency of the sound. If you think about listening to a marching band, you don't hear the high frequencies and then the low frequencies. You hear all of the sounds together. Since they all reach you at the same time, the velocity of each sound must be the same. This implies a relationship between the wavelength and the frequency of these sounds. If you increase the frequency, the wavelength must decrease. And if you decrease the wavelength, the frequency must be higher. So if the sound has a high frequency, then the wavelength must be fairly small. Lower frequency sounds, then, must have a higher wavelength. Calculate the wavelengths of the sounds at the extremes of human hearing, 20 hertz and 20,000 hertz, at 30 degrees Celsius. So first we need to convert the speed of sound to the temperature at which we are operating. We are looking again at a ratio, so we do need to convert our temperature into Kelvin. At 30 degrees Celsius, the speed of sound is 348.7 meters per second. Now that we know the velocity of the wave, we can use the frequency to determine the wavelength. For a sound wave with a frequency of 20 Hz, the wavelength turns out to be 17 meters. For a sound wave with a frequency of 20,000 Hz, the wavelength turns out to be 1.7 centimeters.